Hi guys, so today we're going to be doing some challenges problems um, which are found in your mind action series book. So the book name is your mind action series, which is the old version, right? So the old version of mind action series, I'm gonna, you're going to see the, the, the picture of the book in the screen. Is where you'll find some challenges problems. So we're just going to be doing this problem here, which is number seven in that book of page, right? Page number thirty-six, right? So uh, the problem reads as follows. Let me write it down here. It says if. Okay, let me write it in different color. It says if you have a x squared plus 2bx plus c is equals to 0 has equal roots prove that a b c forms a geometric sequence right so the first step that you're going to do to solve this problem here so let me write solution what we're going to do is we're going to first um, solve this right um, in our properties of a geometric sequence so I want to first say a B C right and we know very well that this is term number one Okay, let me write it in small letters. So this is term number one. This is term number two. This is term number three. So the properties of a geometric sequence say that R is equal to T2 over T1 is equal to T3 over T2, right? Common ratio, which our T2 in this case is B, divided by T1, which is A, equals to T3, which is C, divide by t2 which is b right so what you're going to do is we're going to cross multiply and we will have b squared is equals to ac right so this is going to be the first um part of the solution right so we are getting b squared is equals to ac so in the second part of the problem we must strive to get b squared is equals to ac so now uh now that we are done um with this part of the question now let's use this part of the question where it talks about ax squared plus 2bx plus c being equals to zero having equal roots right what you're going to do we're going to say we're having our ax squared plus 2bx plus c equals to zero and we're told that um it has equal roots right and what I'm just going to write here, I'm just going to say, remember, remember that um, what we solved initially was B squared is equals to AC, right? Always remember that. So we are striving to get the same thing. Then we will conclude and say A, B, and C form a geometric sequence. So what we're going to do here is this, um, since we are told that this expression here has equal roots, so we're going to use our properties of a discriminant. When discriminant is equal to zero, it has equal roots, right? So we're going to say b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero. And then transpose this portion to the other side. You have b squared is equal to 4ac, of which um, if you take a look here, if we were to substitute this b, Remember that if you have ax squared plus bx plus c and your discriminant is equal to b squared minus 4ac, so you substitute these coefficients, right, and this portion. But in this case, we're just going to substitute this coefficient of x, which is um, b, 2b, right? So I want to substitute 2b, which is equal to b, right? So where does b, we're just going to substitute 2b, so it's going to be 2b all squared 
is equals to 4ac, right? So here it's going to be 4b squared is equals to 4ac. Then we divide by 4 both sides. Therefore, we have b squared is equals to ac. So as you can see, we found the same b squared is equals to ac even here. So therefore, it concludes that a, b, c is a geometric sequence, right? So yeah, we are done with this problem here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, please write them down in the comment section below. Otherwise, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click that bell button.